wish you would have called. You usually do. I would have prepared something for Grey's on. At least I always have some fine tape maps. Mm. Were you waiting long before I arrived? No longer than five, ten minutes. Well, your husband knows truly how to send you away. Look at you showing up at my doorstep at this late hour. You must be a wreck. I suppose he wants you to stop working for me altogether. It's not enough that I already cut your hours down at the factory so you could fulfill your wife duties, hmm? Indeed, you are quite insightful, Florence. He's always been displeased by the notion of a woman working. It makes no sense to him, you see, for a woman to work, given that we bring hardly any money back home. Not money like yours. You have put fine men to shame. For some of us, it's best to fill our duty and serve our husbands. Insipid man. Look at me, Bobby. Look at how fabulous I am. How wealthy, how fashionable. No man has prevented me from achieving this remarkable life. Any man I want, I can have. You've seen this, though, haven't you? You have an extraordinary gift in design. And you are throwing it away for what? This man? You show up at my doorstep every other night in need of something because you can't stand him. And you wish to be more like me. And so you should. What woman wouldn't want to be more like me? Liberated and independent. However, I can only teach you so much, my darling. I'm not going to be around for you forever. You must make your own damn mind up sometime. Learn to be free and strive on your own. That's what you want, isn't it? You have taught me so much. But I will never have your charisma, Florence. You have taken the place of my very sister who left me to follow her dreams and never once looked back to see if I could keep up. No one gave me the time you have and I am eternally grateful. But I've never known what it's like to walk with such confidence. Evoked such creativity. I'm adequate at being obedient. And now I'm left with a husband who has lost all his wealth, depletes me of my joy and refuses to let me work. What kind of world is that for a woman to live in? Perhaps if I had your gifts, this anxiety would be relieved. But I have resigned myself to needing to find another way. Well, we can't all be born with such gifts, can we? The world would be filled with such unattainable goals. It is the nature of some to be successful, to be wealthy, and others to simply be grateful to be a part of their world. For you, my darling, 
I've been given space to create my world. Not many are so fortunate. More tea? Are you borrowing implements from the factory, Bobby? Are you planning on making screens on your own? That would be a breach in your employment contract. Actually, I found this on your doorstep and I brought it in with me. How peculiar. I don't recall bringing anything home with me from the factory. Perhaps it was placed there. We have been colleagues for a while now. And friends for even longer. Is there something on your mind? Tell me, why are you really here? I sense perhaps that it is not because of your husband's usual tauntings. On the contrary, Florence. My husband continues to taunt me. I made a mistake, Florence. A grave mistake that concerns you. See, every time I've come here and confided in you, I went home and told my husband of our conversations too. I had mentioned your fortune and how easily accessible it is. What other choice do I have today? How can I go home to a hungry household? A stolen fortune cannot erase a lifetime of brilliance. You will never be more than a slave to conformity and no one will remember your name! <laughs> 